Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Europa, and we shall is for Norway and the Norwegian wood achievement that we are trying to get. Last episode, we well, we invaded Denmark after well the well united effort of England and Sweden brought down most of them together with Holland, who expanded and took basically the entirety of the Jutland area. But we managed to take both Helland, Fyn, and Borgholm and Gotland. And that's, well, basically securing our naval dominance, or naval power dominance in this area. Sure, we still have two lucrative nations right here, both Hamburg and Lübeck, that I would love to grab. But for now, they are, well, staying independent because of their... Because of their nothing? Or, well, they, actually, they are, of course, in... Yeah. They are in the freaking well, uh, HRE, which makes them impossible to grab. I was like, they only have one ally. Why haven't I actually attacked them? Because of the HRE. God damn it. <laughs> I was for one second being super hopeful right there. Because look at these provinces. They are, well, they are coastal central trades. They are important places. Uh, they are, well, LB Esther, and you have, well, both the free shipping through the sound and the coastal central trade. And they're both pretty goddamn 25, respectively, 24 development provinces. Mm, both of them would be so lovely to grab right there. But for now, they elude me. Uh, otherwise, we are continuing expanding right here in the new world. We actually didn't do very much expanding last episode. We're trying to get the lost ID right here, so we can actually get the can get claim overseas in colonial regions. And that would just make it possible for me to just eat so much more right here and establish a real dominant colonial power right here in Mexico and then I hope to start, start establishing myself right here in the middle of uh, North America and grab one in the north well north north America really uh, I'm gonna leave basically the south to I think we I'm gonna leave the south to England or whoever gets right there but we'll see we'll see what we'll do uh, it's all up to discussion later uh, so some provinces left yeah these are just these three ones that I don't actually want to core I'm just waiting. Oh wait, we might have actually accidentally cored one of these now. Yeah. Oh my god, we have. Oh, this one. That kind of sucks, but yeah. This is just going to turn into a colony of nations at any moment. So, well, any moment. As soon as one of these are done. One of these are done, so... Yeah. They're just going to, well, disappear from me quite soon. Uh, otherwise, we are trying to take control over the trade node right here, which we have almost. Uh, we have 25%, Lubeck has 24 So, well, we just have a slight, slight, slight lead right there. And getting quite a bit of quite a bit of income from there. We also became a great power last episode, which I'm going to try to build upon this time. Sweden is trying to get, well, is almost getting integrated right now. Or, well, it's on the progress of being integrated right now by the UK, which I would very much like to stop. But I'm not 100% sure how I'm supposed to stop it. Uh, maybe I saw it actually these <laughs> building spy networks a tiny bit too early right here uh, and I accidentally removed this one right now from while well, doing their automatic work uh, I'm just gonna change it right now it became quite annoying of it being actually in the middle right there so I'm gonna try to change it right now so we got sugar sugar from two of these areas okay there we go I'm now gonna go into macro builder and just say uh, let's see allies right there thank you so you're actually at the top right there, so I don't make any mistakes. Uh, so, we have two available right now. Uh, what did I want to check? Yes, I want to see how many actually joins... Phone, really? Oh, okay. That was necessary. Uh, let's see. Who would join? Uh, France would join from my side, that's good. But both Holland, Leinster would join from there. And then, of course, English Columbia. And Sweden would join. That's a bit too many, I think. Uh, if I check the current manpower from Sweden, or force limit from Sweden. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Oh, wait, really? Sweden only have 20? We have 38? Ooh, that's nice. So if I actually shipped home all my troops, then it would be possible for me to actually break them. The only problem would be this. I can't take this down. The French Navy... I would, like, have to bet everything I have on the French Navy being able to beat the English Navy and then actually invade them. But if I actually declared war against Sweden as our main target, then France wouldn't join, so I have to declare war. If I declared war against 
here. I declared Wardem as Halland as my main point. That could actually work. Because I would be able to secure this one, I think, quite well. England, how many men do you have? In force limit. Actually, 37, so you don't have that much. So if you don't put your entire effort into challenging me, that's actually very, very interesting and very, very good to know. So I'm gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take my entire army, uh, entire navy right now. I'm gonna gather all my troops. I'm gonna gather everything I have for one large war with UK right now. I think it's time. It's time for me to challenge and cast off my oppressors. Well, I don't really know if they're my oppressors right now, but I, I need to be able to do this. Uh, let's see, we can't ask military access, of course we can't. We're gonna have to ship everyone around there. But we have Helland. Um yeah, let's d reduce diplomatic costs right now. Oh, actually that's just tech diplomatic cost. Well, no matter, no matter, it will be fine. Uh, so you are getting over right there, we are having here, let's see, 200 men, yeah, we can get one more ID right here, and uh, we should probably do that as well. Reducing that ship cost by 10% would be nice, global trade power, more production efficiency, oh wow, we actually get the white new saga, we get 2.5% discipline, I did not know about that, that's very nice, I must have completely forgotten about that. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, we can't get any active thing right now, but I guess this one some better force defense fort defense where we have it and well some other nice things uh, minus 10 percent fort maintenance so yeah 100 population right there france want a royal marriage how about you poland yes you want one as well cool so we save that um printing press right now appeared god freaking damn it uh let's see where is it in the middle of the hre so it shouldn't take too long time for me to actually get it that's nice and Holland is being plagued by 20 rebels, so that will also probably help me a bit. Since, well, they won't be able to attack me, that is. Uh, you just arrived, pretty goddamn well timed. And now let's send back everyone right there to Bohuslan. Uh, can we build any more troops, maybe? We can actually get a couple more troops. Yeah, we actually need to get a couple more troops if we're actually gonna have what we need to challenge them. Um, Actually, I think only artillery right now would be the best. We have a sizable force of infantry, but we don't have that many... Uh, that many... We don't have that many... Uh, ca cannons <laughs> right now. God damn it. Okay, what the hell is going on right here? Search for iron and copper. And uh, Norwegian peasants have extracted copper and iron for centuries on small scale. There's no great iron or copper mines in our lands. This is concentrated by the thriving mining sector in the Swedish realm, with great quantities of both metals have been mined, cast, and exported since the Middle Ages. The crown has recently acquired many pieces of land, proves the control of the church nobility, who did not have the resource inclination to search for metals. Okay, so we pay 200 ducats, uh, and we might get some more iron or copper. And um, uh, let's see, I, um, once iron or copper is found in Norwegian provinces, you will be given the opportunity to reorient the provincial economy forwards that throw good for monarch points. Uh, let's see, we'll 5% less tax for, oh my god, for 80 years. That really gotta be paying out then later. Sure, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's be a bit mad. Let's do it. Uh, let's get some nice corruption right here. So, actually, so we actually can pay for that. And five, we are paying with 5%, well, we are of course paying for 5% 5%, uh, 5 tax always as well. Uh, not always, as well. <laughs> uh, let's see, my man is coming back. Come on, chop chop, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is basically, I think, abandon these territories. I'm gonna just hope my little... <laughs> Actually, wait. Your, yeah, Lannister, yeah, you will just slaughter my little colonial guy right here, unfortunately. Uh, all of these extra cannons, you're gonna just gather up right there. Yeah, wow, that costs quite a bit to sustain. But with all those extra cannons, every single fort that they have will just get completely obliterated. So that's very, very nice. There we go, send all my troops right here now. Uh, we might actually have to shuffle them around. We will probably have two stacks of units. And they will just go in and crush whatever, well, whatever the Swedish have. Come on, just gather up right here. And there we go. Both of you guys unite up right here. 
that's just after the attrition tick come on there we go and now split 18 yeah that's pretty sizable force of artillery right now especially this age and of course we have to recruit two more generals oh my god they're dying like flies right now and we got two pretty bad ones as well <laughs> that's great that's great well let's see uh then we have one a claim on holland really i thought we had uh well let's get some fabrication right there i'm just really hoping like france can be the savior or oh wait actually might be able to get into just holland right there they get military access and can just bring down holland at least for me that'd be pretty good and right here of course uh wow yeah let's get that armor professional list but lose manpower right now oh there we go uh, we need copper for our guns uh, mining have to remain a small scale enterprise so iron or copper what's the best right now in where uh where was it in Akerhus. okay um how much does actually iron right now give i want to see the difference right now copper is 4.5 uh where's iron uh, there's iron. Okay, you're only free. Local build construction cost. And this is recruitment time. But I guess this is just because... Of, or is it just good to produce? Yeah, that's just more copper produced. Not actually the price of it. So right now, iron is actually a bit better. But doesn't iron become better late game? I think it does. So I'm actually going to pick iron right now. And just get that up right here. Thank you. Uh, God, that might not have been... This might be a very bad, like, 75 monarch points. That's a shit ton, actually, when I think about it. Might not have been the smartest move right there to actually pick this. Well, at least I can get... I can, In case of this becoming, well, in worse provinces, I can just say, stay what you are, and we'll just get one more development point right there. Okay. Uh, no, get that up and rolling, please. And uh, there will be blood. God, uh, let's. I'm just a bit afraid that Russia might just declare war against me while I'm war with, well, while I'm at war with them. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, we were gonna declare war against them. Oh my God, I completely forgot about. It. We were gonna declare war against Holland. It was just, well, delayed. And we can call in Poland to this as well. Ooh, that would actually be very nice. Polish navy would help us, and yeah, definitely we would call in both of them. This is gonna be a really large war right now. And we're gonna go for Holland, I think. Uh, let's also send some. Well, send. Oh wait, right. We can't build spy network here at all, to be honest. Uh, I was hoping for just faster sieges, but yeah, I guess we will just have to deal with it. Well, without it. Okay, uh, Holland. That's what I want to aim for. Aim calling both of them. And yeah, let's go for it. So current man, thirty-seven thousand versus. Let's see, France is joining us and Poland is joining us. We have a massive numerical superiority in numbers at least. Uh, let's see, let's retreat right here and just hide with my trade navy and go in right here. Can I go all the way right here? No, I can't. Uh, let's see, we need more cannons right here in the south to get the full bonus. There we go. That should, that almost, almost, almost gives me the maximum bonus right there. Wait, why, why, wait, why, why doesn't it? Oh, I have nine, really, and I need ten. Yeah, I thought I had 10, but I must have counted that wrong. Damn it. Well, these guys can just, well, keep harassing all of the other provinces, just take them over. But because it seems like Sweden is just abandoning everything right here. So let's just occupy everything right here. Quick and easy. Take down it all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, if we just bring down Sweden very quickly, it doesn't matter if they take down my stuff right here. They can do whatever they want. Let's see, both of them are with me. That's awesome, that's awesome. That is really gonna pay out for me, I think. So I'm gonna send, I think, just this entire infantry army and just take all of these random provinces right here. Why I'm sending them in small stacks and not one stack units is because, well, Sweden might build a unit or two and that will kill off them. So if I just send two or three units, then it should be fine. Getting one more stability right there, very good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yes, sure, take it over. I'm occupying other stuff right now. There we go. Elsborg is taken, which means we can go in and take what our war goal is. Uh, let's actually go in and just kill off that Swedish navy first. Just, in case, just so we don't actually fail right there. There we go. Thank you. 
And oh wait, you can actually retreat. God damn it, that was not the point. I was really hoping my fort was actually gonna block them right now. But I guess you're gonna retreat to Sweden then. And yeah, I hopefully my Polish allies will deal with them. Oh, they're actually retreating all the way to Finland. Then that's a bit worrisome. Uh, let's gather up all my troops then in one province. You take down this, you take down the other thing. You are cleaning out Holland very nicely. Let's see, my entire place right there is completely occupied right now and we probably get quite a bit of war exhaustion, yeah. 0 0.70, oh god, that's a lot. I don't want to think about it. Uh, we could actually do a... We could do artillery burst right there. Let's just speed down, well, slow down a bit. And see, is my colony nation doing anything? Nope, not really. Well, I didn't expect it to do anything, so I'm fine with that. So, I'm gonna get the last one right here. And that just increased my naval limit and gave me military shipbuilding. And I should be able to make my, well, I should be able to make some course right now. Or make some claims right here. Uh, oh, we need to get in, in the Aztecs round. Fine. Actually, I'm completely fine with that. Uh, sure, let's fix that. In England, we can stop this. Well, we can stop that spy network building. Pause and get one more right there. And let's see. So how are we doing right here? Come on, come on, take that down, take that down. Oh, damn it. It would have been very nice just to take it down instantly. And f how, how are you doing, France? You're really focused on Holland right there. Maybe we can sue you for peace. Uh, let's cancel that guy for now. You have 99%. I'm gonna ask for all the possible money you have. War, tr war reparations. I'm gonna probably ask you for most of this stuff. Uh, God, that's a massive coalition. Let's let's ignore that. Let's just take money and humiliate you, give up claims, and just really be um, an asshole right now, and just really reduce you. Actually, let's even do like this. Um, let's not give up claims, but let's end your alliance with both Russia and England. Thank you. Now you're completely alone, and you just gave all of us a bunch of money. Thank you. So. How about it, England? Now can can both Poland and, well, France focus on you instead? And there we go, Kalmar's taken now. So can you go and take this and that from them? That would be lovely. You continue down right here. God, that's a lot of occupation you are forcing on me right now. I think I can handle it for a while longer. Uh, let's see. Uh, the plight of... Uh, Kona, so all of Norway suffers in war. Sure, let's give them some money so they can actually survive this. And let's focus down right here. Thank you. Let's take the next province. Just from province to province. Take everything down. Thank you. That's it. That's almost all of Sweden occupied right now. Uh, let's just go down right here and actually bring this down. Come on, France. If you need your navy down here, just move your navy and actually destroy that poor little Swedish one. I wonder who actually wiped out all the Swedish troops that were retreating. And now Sweden is actually blockading completely and actually not making it possible for us to get in there. And there, Norwegian West Indies. Um, Karen Norwegian. Car Norwegian. <laughs> Norwegian. Oh god, that's so bad. Um, Noribian. Noribian. Sure. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's have that. And they have Cuba. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's nice. So we that should mean that we have... Oh, we actually occupy a bunch of their colonies right there. Uh, let's see. Are none of these actually done? No, wait, these three aren't done. And I can't abandon it. Why can't I? Because I don't have any troops in these regions. Is that why? God, you are really trying to establish yourself right there. In English Mexico. I will really have to make sure that I stop it ASAP. But anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna just go for this well, nation straight here in the middle. Uh, let's see, Manhattan, will that be my capital? I think it might be. Uh, let's see, maybe here is better. Yeah, that's definitely better. But that's actually swamp line. But it doesn't actually seem to slow down colonizing this area or anything. So sure, let's send my first guy right here. And just take this in the middle. And then we have one more there, one more there. Yeah, we have a couple areas right there. But we'll fix it quite soon. 
So, my entire army right here. Are you ready? So, hello England. Wanna make a little peace deal? Oh, actually you don't want to. You're kind of fine. But, well, we're getting more and more war score from you. So, I'm fine with that. Uh, we have an advisor that died. Actually, two advisors that died. Uh, let's get the reinforced speed and missionary strength. And let's see, nothing is... F everything is fine. Uh, we have a couple of revolts that might be, well, ticking off. God damn it. Is that just because I can't actually reach your mainland? You are really this... Well... That stubborn to actually give up? Maybe. Uh, we can make this... <laughs> just say it. No, we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna repeat what we're constantly saying. Oh crap, you're actually losing that war? But that should be very easy for you to slaughter. They have way too much cavalry. They're gonna get so big, so many penalties right there. Uh, Spain, they're at war with Sweden. Eng oh god, Spain declared war against them. Very nice. That's awesome. That's really, really good. And Spain is actually occupying London. That's, that's even better. <laughs> Let's see, we are trying to colonize... Oh really? Oh, that's just random nation. Oh, nice. Uh, this is one we are trying to take. Um, so we're gonna take this just beside it. Coastline. This is grassland. Uh, let's just go for this straight beside it. We're just gonna take all of these territories. Uh, production slaves. Wow, nice. Nice increase right there. So how about it? You wanna make a peace deal? Yeah, you actually do. Nice. So why did I actually declare war against you? Yes, I think it was because I wanted you to... Well stop being a subject to Sweden but I think I'm gonna make a slight change instead let's see I'm instead of you not letting them actually claim Sweden I'm just gonna eat Sweden <laughs> uh, Dalaskogen that's the one I want that really have the lovely lovely Stora Coppa Barrett right there so if I go in right here and say I want this I want that I want as much as possible really from Sweden I can take all of this and uh, no one will really complain about it and then once we finally have wars against that, we will just start to clean up poor little Norway and, well, the southern parts right here. I can't grab this. So I'm gonna delay this war a tiny bit longer, to be honest. Now oh, there's the Swedish army. Let's crush it. That will give me a bit more war score. Uh, let's see. God, they are... They have more discipline than me, but I have many, many more cannons right now. Oh, really? You're just gonna stay right there. Forever. <laughs> Inside your little corner of the world right there. God damn it. Uh, could I take this from you? Yes, I can. But that would have to. I would have to wait a bit longer. Well, it's just really war score that ticks up for me, so I'm kind of fine with it. It's too bad we're getting so much war exhaustion, and it would actually trigger a pretty big revolt, so I think actually I'm gonna ex accept what we have right now. I'll just have to deal with this some other way next time. So let's ask for a bit of money. There we go. Back, back. There we go, uh, coalition, we're fine. Let's just eat that up, thank you. A pretty big conquest right there for me. Uh, we are gonna add, come, oh, we can't add a state just yet. We are going to add an state right here for the, well, we're gonna add the mer um, merchants right there just to eat up that, well, eat up and increase that lovely, lovely copper. Uh, so, core, coring, coring, coring. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's see, all the men I have, these 24,000 men, you are going to gather up right there in Borsland together with these guys. We're going to split them up and we're going to take some men and send over to the New World. Because now it should be possible, f possible for us to actually get some claims. Nice. And right there as well. Cool. And let's see, actually these 13 men, what are you? Oh yeah, you're only infantry. We'll have to fix that then. And let's see if we take this and we ship them over just right here. I want to see exactly what we took. Uh, eight four. Wow, that's a lot of cannons we're taking right here. But we should probably make it five and then send it over. Oh, actually, we can do it like this. You guys get over to on the ship, uh, be sent over there. But I'm gonna build a cannon right there. Thank you. And this means we have. Yeah, we're gonna wait now military points until we can actually jump to next level. Very good. Uh, we're trying, we're slow, but oh god, that's France, yeah, that's France. We're gonna have to get our colonization up here faster than they do. I think we will be able to as well, but... I really just need a colonial nation, because once we have a colonial nation, they might continue their tradition of expanding even more with their own colonies. 
and their own colonial units. Uh, treasure fleet, thank you. Are you increasing this yourself? It seems we're getting them a bit faster right now. Uh, no, it's still just level 3 right there. Uh, 25,000 right here. Uh, let's see. Tension between miners and locals. Oh, really? And where? Up. Oplanda, right there. And Faroe. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? Oh, god damn it. Really? Uh, where's my fleet? Where is my fleet right now? Oh, it's just about here. <laughs> well, at least I'm gonna destroy some of them instantly. With, well, with my army that is standing right here. And you guys just arrive right there. Uh, yeah, quarantine the, quarantine the province. And you guys need to just get over right here ASAP. Uh, we're actually taking attrition right now. So let's just spawn it right now. <laughs> Crushed. And we'll see what happens right now. No real particular this. Uh, where? In Lund? Yeah, mostly in Lund. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, Lund. Why do, why do you have to be so mad? Uh, we can actually change the culture, but that would take quite a bit of cost. Uh, I guess we just have to hope that it actually doesn't fire right now. We are losing war, uh, we're losing war exhaustion constantly right now. And that's just, well, it's gonna at least remove the, well, the unrest chance of any revolt triggering in both Aberdeen and Argyll. But in Lund it's still gonna keep going for a while. I don't know why it's suddenly that much more mad at me. Let's just bump that up. Let's just bump up the autonomy and just hope it doesn't actually trigger. It would suck if it actually does it right now. Uh, let's reduce that prestige. Let's take these men out here and send over to the islands. There we go. Thank you. We're no longer considered world... St God damn it. We're no longer considered great power. That sucks. But we're gonna fix that very very soon. Aztecs will join and help them, but well, that's exactly what I want because you have some go gold that belongs to me. Uh, actually, could we get some couple of claims on you as well? Uh, we want, let's see, we want Mexico. Oh, really? That's all we could? Okay, we need one more month. Okay, two more months then, apparently. And there we go. And we can get this one as well. Just getting claims on both of the gold provinces, so they would be a bit cheaper for me to k take. So the claim war against you, that would just, well, show more exactly who is actually going to join. Which is, well, a couple nations right here, but all of them are crappy in tech. I'm just going to go straight in for the capital and take it down. Shouldn't be any more difficult than that. Uh, right here. You guys are actually have cleaned that out. Very good. Just jump over right here. You guys jump on on the ship again and then jump to Lund uh, tax it please tax everything more money more money to Daniel uh, an advisor but um, yeah that is a really good a really good leader and we do have one extra slot but we're not using it for anything so I'm just gonna grab the extra prestige right there I'm sorry and well you would just die before we actually have time to use you. And wh why haven't you actually been... Oh, because they're always cancelling it even if we're at war with colonial wars. Oh, that I don't want. There we go. That's a lot of money. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering why we were losing money still, even though we were not at war anymore. But of course we were, but not a war that I was counting as a war. <laughs> no, that's that feels kind of bad against them. But it's not really a war right here. Sure, they might occupy some provinces right and left, but we're just gonna go in and crush everyone. Even my colonial nation is just crushing all of their armies. Just go in, give me the gold, and we can have peace. Well, probably not peace, but... Well, you at least don't have to die. There we go, five cannons right there. Does not actually give me the maximum bonus. I really thought you would only have the level 1 fort. Or level 2 fort, but what? That does not give me the maximum bonus? Okay, never mind. Uh, there we go, Mexico is mine now. Why can't I go right here? Really? This fort? Yeah. Just take it down as well. Quick and easy. And we have a civil... Helsingland. Oh, really? 20k right there? Oh my god. Uh, get up right there. 25,000 men moving over right here. Get a, get a commander and just... Yeah, 10 years of separatists. Okay, fine. Natives lose some ferocity. That's fine. Oh, really? Twice? Yeah, crush that Swedish army, please. 
Wow, you actually... Wow, you did really well against me. Holy shit, that could have ended badly. <laughs> that could have ended badly. Really, if I would have lost that battle, we would have lost so many men right there. Ugh, lucky. Uh, let's see. Take that down, thank you. And now I think we can just split this up and just... Right, to rest, take the rest of the provinces a bit quicker. Even if they are assaulting one of my armies with a lot more, I should be able to, well, I should have enough time to just, well, reinforce it. Since they can't wipe out my armies quicker, even if they are many times more than me. There we go, everything here taken. Let's go in and take the last province right there. Yeah, we're attacking one by one, but it should be fine anyway. There we go. And take the last province, and done. Oh, really, not done? Oh, they lost... Yeah, is there anything important right here? No, not really. So we're just gonna say, hello Aztecs. Yeah, I want that gold. Well, it's not gonna be for me, but it's gonna be for my colonial nation. Uh, that's 123% overextension, but I don't care. Or oh, overextension right here, aggressive expansion, I mean. But yeah, that does not really matter. Uh, really, you don't wanna accept that? Okay, then I guess I just have to, well, take more land then. You Because you are going to get an X along with everything else. We're gonna bring down everything. And we're training with Coco, so <laughs> all my troops have coffee enough, so they can actually... What? Yeah, have converted all provinces to Protestant. Okay, cool. But yeah, we actually can drink our fill of coffee and, well, hurry up against the enemies. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's about time. But thank you guys for watching for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, that you will like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.